dust? Who are you? I am Dust, and this is Fidget. We came from Mudpot seeking the one they call the Lady. Their springs have dried up, and I'm here to find out why. You would dare enter my domain and question me? Yes, the waters have stopped flowing. I was the one to stop them. Be careful, Dust. I do not believe she's used to being spoken to so casually. I meant no disrespect. Uh... I am Lady Tethys, and you will refer to me as such, with the courtesy reserved for all powerful beings of the realm. Okay, Dust, maybe you should dial it back a bit. She's getting pretty ticked off. Lady Tethys, the mud pots need your help. One of them is already close to death, but your healing waters could save his life. You, a surface dweller, would dare to question my actions. Who do you think you are, ordering me to release the waters of life? I would question the motives of any creature, deity or not, that would let their subjects perish without reason. I have felt the endless conflict as my waters ebb and flow through your land, surface dweller. I see this water satisfying the thirst of a creature much like yourself. A killer with a broken soul. A creature like me? You mean... He leads a great army across these lands, spilling innocent blood, and using my waters to give life to his campaign of hatred. I stopped the water, so I could stop the violence. But you are punishing innocents and guilty alike. Your own followers in Mudpot will die without that water. If their deaths are required to save this world, that is a sacrifice I am willing to make. You speak in petty terms. A person, a family, a village. Their deaths, same as yours, are insignificant to the greater good. I sense a terrible danger, Dust. Prepare yourself. I have seen where your path ends, Lady Tethys, and I will not let you succumb to the same fate. Too many innocents have died already thanks to Gaius's campaign. So be it, Surface Dweller. If you would raise your sword against me, then prepare to have your accursed soul ripped from your body and purged in these holy waters! slipping from her soul dust. We have done it. She is now safe. Are you all right, Lady Tethys? What is this darkness Ara speaks of? I saw what your general was doing. I could feel the souls of all the innocents he killed screaming for help. And I... I succumbed to that darkness. That desire for justice, no matter the cost. Justice must be tempered with mercy, Lady Tethys. Otherwise, it is nothing more than revenge. I must apologize, Dust. I see now that you wield one of the blades of Elysium. Had I noticed before, I would have treated you with more respect. Blades of Elysium? I will explain later. We have other, more pressing matters at hand. I know you feel like you are doing the right thing by holding back the waters. But Mudpot needs them now more than ever. Oh, the waters, yes. I only hope it's not too late. Indeed. Though your motives were noble, I fear it did little to stop General Gaius and his campaign on the surface. 
Already I can feel his army's footsteps. They travel north, into the mountains. Then we gotta hurry. Ginger was on her way there too. Before you go, perhaps I can repay you for freeing me of my madness. At the base of the northern mountains, there is a grand estate. The baron of these lands is a man named Cain. He knew your general, and if you help him, he will be willing to assist you in your quest to end Gaius's campaign. And how do you know all that? Because I am attuned to the life thread, my dear. I can sense all life through the waters I send to the surface. Now, more than ever, I can feel the despair that all surface dwellers feel because of your general's hatred. He is not my general. Perhaps not now, but I can see you were once very close to this general Gaius. You can see into my past? Your soul is fragmented, like a shattered mirror. I can only see reflections in the broken pieces, and what I see makes little sense, even to me. Hmm. There are powerful forces at work within you, Dust. How a living creature could carry such a shattered soul is beyond my understanding. However, that doesn't matter now. She's right, Dust. If we're going to speak to this Baron guy, we need to get moving. Apologies, Lady Tethys, but we must make haste. There is a villager in Mudpot who is very close to death. I can feel it now. His life force is very weak. How could I let this happen? What... what have I done? We've no time to waste. Is there a shortcut back to Mudpot? Yes, of course. Right through here. Though I fear you may already be too late. We'll get there in time. Just you wait and see. I hope so, Fidget. Goodbye, Lady Tethys. Goodbye, Dust. And good luck. <laughs>